first I'm going to pressure cook the mutton. I have one kilo of mutton with bone. Add one and a half cups of water. Pressure cook on medium flame for about four to five whistles. For the masala powder, I've taken a series of ingredients here. Two tablespoons whole coriander seeds, 10 cashews, one tablespoon cumin seeds, one and a half tablespoons stone flour, otherwise known as kalpasi, six cardamom, one tablespoon peppercorns, two bay leaves, two star anise, a piece of cinnamon, two small pieces of maize, about 10 cloves, two small pieces of nutmeg, and one tablespoon fennel seeds. Add all the ingredients for the masala powder into the mixer jar and grind it to a nice fine powder. For the masala paste, so I've taken about 15 shallots. Now this variety is a little bigger than the usual. So if you have smaller ones, then you can use about 20 shallots. Next add 5 green chilies. Five large cloves of garlic and a piece of ginger. To make the dindakal biryani, I have taken a nice large cooking pot. To the pot, add three tablespoons of oil. To this, add two tablespoons of ghee. Next, add the ground masala paste, which is the onion, ginger, garlic, and green chilli. Cook the masala till it's nice and brown. The masala paste has browned beautifully. And the raw smell is gone. I'm going to add three to four tablespoons of the ground masala powder. To this, I'm going to add half teaspoon of turmeric powder, one tablespoon red chilli powder, two teaspoons rock salt. So for this recipe, I'm using rock salt, but you can also use table salt. You can adjust the salt according to your taste. Keep the flame on low and mix the spice powders because you don't want to get it burnt. Add the cooked mutton pieces. Next, I'm going to add the juice of one lemon and 200 grams of curd. Next, add a handful of mint leaves. Add a handful of coriander leaves. I'm going to add all the mutton stock because all the flavors in the mutton stock. Close the pot, keep the flame on medium and cook for about 25 minutes. For the Dindakal Mutton Biryani, I'm using the Jiraga Sambar Rice variety. I'm using 2 cups of the Jiraga Sambar Rice. Unlike the Basmati Rice, which is a long grain rice, the Jiraga Sambar Rice is a small grain rice. You can see. And as you can see, the rice is very small. And since it resembles the Jiragam, which is a Jira or the cumin seeds in Tamil, it's called the Jiraga Sambar Rice. Wash and soak the rice for about 20 minutes. The mutton is cooked beautifully. It's nice and tender. Add the soaked rice. Next, I'm going to add two cups of hot water. Cook the rice on medium flame for about 10 minutes. The rice is half cooked. Place the tawa on the stove. Once it's hot, 
place the biryani pot onto the tawa. Add a teaspoon of ghee, some chopped coriander leaves, a few mint leaves. Cover the biryani with the banana leaf. Cover the pot with foil paper. Place the lid. Keep the flame on low and leave the biryani on dum for about 20 minutes. For the balti ghost, I've taken 500 grams of boneless mutton, wash it nicely and cut it into small pieces. Take a white saucepan, add 2 tablespoons of oil and 1 tablespoon of ghee. To this I'm going to add a few whole spices starting with half teaspoon of cumin seeds, a piece of cinnamon, a few cloves, 3 cardamom pods and 1 bay leaf. To this I'm going to add two large onions thinly sliced. The onions have turned to a nice golden brown colour. I'm going to add two teaspoons of ginger garlic paste. Saute for two minutes. Next I'm going to add the boneless mutton pieces. This has been nicely washed and cut into smaller pieces so make sure you don't the pieces are not too big after sorting the meat for two minutes add two whole teaspoons of red chili powder add two teaspoons of coriander powder add one teaspoon of salt To this, I'm going to add one and a half cups of water. Close and cook for about 10 minutes on medium flame. To this, add two tomatoes chopped, two green chilies chopped. Give it a quick mix. Close and cook for another 30 minutes on medium flame. The mutton pieces are cooked beautifully. I'm going to finish off the dish by adding half teaspoon of garam masala powder. Squeeze the juice of one lemon. Add some freshly chopped coriander leaves. Turn off the stove and serve it hot. In a pressure cooker, add 1 cup of water, add 300 grams of boneless mutton, add quarter teaspoon of turmeric powder and half teaspoon of rock salt, pressure cook it for about 6 to 7 whistles on medium flame. The mutton is cooked well. Keep it aside. Next, to make the masala powder, in a mixer jar, add 10 red chilies, 1 tablespoon coriander seeds, 1 teaspoon fennel seeds, 1 teaspoon cumin seeds, 1 and a half teaspoons peppercorns. Grind everything to a fine powder. Heat a pan with 1 and a half tablespoons of coconut oil. Add 200 grams of shallots. 
two green chilli slit, a few curry leaves and saute them. Once the onions turn golden brown in colour, add one teaspoon of ginger garlic paste and saute for a minute. Add two chopped tomatoes and saute it for about two to three minutes. Add one and a half tablespoons of ground masala powder and mix well. Add the cooked mutton pieces along with the stock and mix it well with the masala. Add 1 teaspoon of rock salt. Cook till the excess water evaporates and you get a nice dry sukka. The mutton sukka has come together beautifully. Finally, garnish it with some curry leaves and serve it hot. You can get a copy of our first edition of the home cooking book on 21 Twins.